Hello everybody, I'm Peter Grob and today we give you another chapter breakdown. And today we are breaking down Botama from Universe 6. Now, since this is one of the older fighters, so, so I mean like what, wasn't he like the 11th fighter in the turn of, in the, if you go by a turn of power fighters in, revealed? I don't know exactly who got revealed from number 6 first. Well, obviously I know it was Champa and Vardos, but I mean from the fighters. But let's not focus on that. Let's start focus on Botama's design. And... No matter how, which way I look at Botamo, I will never stand that line the Goku says in the English dub. Hey, look at that bear guy. He looks tough. Why does he look tough? I mean, look at him. His entire fucking body is huge ball. Then the, these two legs just seem to just be coming out, which don't even look like would g give him any kind of support. With his head, with that seems to be, which always seems to be hunching. Why is he supposed to be tough? But let's not focus on that. Let's instead focus on his fine style. And that seems to be long range. He could also be cut as a fortress or like a wall of some sort. But they never seem to really be addressing that. His moves are shooting energy blasts from his mouth. Yeah, boring. His abilities include universal teleportation that basically allows him to not be affected by punchings and I think energy blast and like I said he can shoot energy blasts he also has to be some kind of a stretchable guy because Vegeta t made his arms into a bow in when he battled him what I think was the first time no his fine tactic seems to be letting his opponents hit him so so he could Seconds, so he could basically start battling them in seconds. I don't know why he just lets his opponents hit him. I mean, after a couple of hits, they should probably realize that their plan won't work. I mean, seriously, what is this guy, a Capitan Tom 1? You think that instead of finding a way to fix that thing that defeated him in terms of power? Wait, no, wait, let me just think about this. Technically, he posed such a little threat with that tech neck that he l that they show us three ways he could lose. He could lose by throwing him, him off his balance, balance and throwing him out to how basically disarming him and then taking him and throwing him out and then just you know making him stop stuck him in. The air, so it's easy to throw him. Jeez, talk about a guy who they just want to show how many ways to defeat him. So at least my get, I had some kind of excuse. Now, besides that, how many times he got that hit? How many times he technically lost? Just, I am not. I mean, seriously, if you think about it, if Maketa didn't came to save him, he would be actually be. He'll be from universe. He would. Technically, be be have bigger been eliminated the first one in episode ninety nine. Jesus, this guy was weakling. Now to his weakness. If you hit him to some the same of time in the same spot, super fast or something, he will not be able to get anywhere, and not unless if he's power moves and because his. That was too big, energy blast would hit his opponents. Yeah, that's basically how Gohan defeated him. The way that Goku defeated him was basically he grabbed his legs, he put him down, he drive him off the stage and throw him out. Vegeta, he defeated him again. He attacked a couple times, grabbed his arms, and turned into a ball, and, throw, and basically tried to throw out, but he couldn't because Mageta was in there. That was, was in there. Yeah, talk about a useless fighter. 
You know, I would. I am wondering if there is does exist in universe six. I mean, universe seven. So maybe that will be more. So maybe we could get better than from his race, But so far, he's a complete and total fail. And even in general, super. The only thing he does is show up a couple of times and get and gets defeated. That's it. Seriously, tell me uh, how many fighters can really beat him. I'm pretty sure every single fire universe three can actually beat him easily. I mean, Khan. Seriously, how many fighters can beat him? Now, I hope you like this video. I hope you uh, leave a like and subscribe to my channel no, for more videos in the future. And stay tuned because tomorrow I'm going to review Ruby B Volume 5 Chapter 4. And that's it. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.